The Couple Next Door, written by Peg Lynch and starring Peg Lynch and Alan Bunce. The Couple Next Door is brought to you today in part by Arid Cream Deodorant with Pear Stop and Mentholatum. Don't be half safe. Don't be half safe. If you've ever ruined a dress with perspiration stains, you might as well tear it up and throw it away. Well, here's a new vanishing cream deodorant that stops perspiration stains, stops odor. New Arid, now fortified with Pear Stop. You rub Arid in, rub perspiration out. Rub arid in, rub odor out. Only a cream that penetrates deep into pores where perspiration starts can effectively stop perspiration stains, stop odor. Arid, used daily, stops perspiration stains, stops odor completely for 24 hours. Remember, nothing protects you like a cream, and no cream protects you like arid, proved one and a half times as effective as all leading deodorants tested against perspiration and odor. Get arid with Purse Stop today, only 43 cents plus tax. <laughs> Don't I have any cigarettes around here at all? Well, I don't know, dear. I don't keep track of them. Well, I can't find a one. I don't know anything about your cigarettes. Why don't you run down to the store and get Well, I'm some? waiting for a very important call from San Francisco. Sure is shooting. The minute I walk out that door, the phone will ring. Well, you can be back in five minutes. Yeah. Well, I don't know. A watched pot never boils. Go on, get your cigarettes, dear. Mm, no. If I just dash down there, it won't take me long. I don't think it'll ring in just that length of time, do you? Well, dear, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> no, no. Run along. Yeah, all right. Goodness. I think I will. Yeah. Put on overshoes now, dear. It's very slippery. No, I'll be there. okay. Oh, it's a wonder sometimes you don't catch pneumonia. Well, I hope that call doesn't come through while I'm gone. You know, I tried to reach that guy all day, and I couldn't. Then oh. I got a message that he'd call me at home here tonight. Uh -huh. It's very important. Oh, I see. Look, darling, I I'll be right back. Yeah, sure. All right, dear. Mommy? Yeah. Oh, did you get your room picked up, Betsy? Yes. Go up and look at it. <laughs> all right, I will. Oh, oh no. Wouldn't you not? Hello? Yes? Yes, Sid, it will. He just this second walked out the door. He'll be right. Hold on. Call Daddy. Call Daddy, dear, will you? Daddy! Daddy! Just hold on, please. Are cold or flu discomforts making you miserable? Combat them with mentholatum cold band tablets, potent new cold and flu tablets containing five medications widely prescribed by doctors. Medications which help relieve many of your worst symptoms in just one day. Each mentholatum cold band tablet contains analgesics to soothe away body aches and headaches, antidepressant to offset that heavy, weary feeling of a cold, antipyretics to help reduce fever, antihistamine to stop virus-spreading sneezes and to help open clogged nostrils. And each daily dose of mentholatum cold band tablets contains more than the recommended amount of the orange juice vitamin, vitamin C. Get mentholatum cold band tablets today, 98 cents. Your money back if cold band tablets don't help bring you fast relief. Well, Betsy yelled at you, I yelled at yeah. you, and finally I just told the operator you'd be right back, so... She said they'd try yeah. again in a few minutes. Well, didn't I say that's what would happen? Yes, Honestly, <laughs> never Well, they're calling back. Now, stop worrying. Betsy, you go upstairs now and get undressed, and then Mommy will come up and read your story, dear. Will you read me the unhappy hippopotamus? <laughs> yes, I'll read the <laughs> unhappy hippopotamus. Now, run along, please, dear. Honey, did they say they'd call back? Yes, dear, and yeah. I said you'd be right back. My golly, I'd have been here if I hadn't had to go down there for cigarettes. I thought you were always going to keep her carton in the bookcase well, there. I slipped up, well, I guess. I'm sorry. Seems to me we ought to have some system in this house whereby we have things when we want them. Scissors, for example. We can never find a scissors. What do you want a scissors for? I don't want a scissors right now. I'm just simply saying that's what usually happens. Uh, oh, there. All right. <laughs> I, I, I get it. Oh, get it. Out of the way. Get it. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Hi, Leonard. Is that the How's the boy? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, oh, I've had some time trying to reach you. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I just stepped out to get some cigarettes. <laughs> That's well. Now look, Leonard. Yes, I, I wanted the sales figures from your office. 
I'm seeing that guy tomorrow, and I thought I might close the deal. You... Good. You got him right there? Fine. Yes. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute. I want to get a pencil. Yeah, yeah dear. Dear? Yes, uh, it was. Get, get what, me a what, pencil. What? A, what? a pencil. A pencil. Oh, a pencel. pencel. All right. Well, Honestly. let me look in the desk. Well, hurry up, will you? This guy's calling from San all Francisco. Right, all right. I'm looking. Just a minute. Leonard? Yeah. I know. Well, I put the call through about 4 o'clock, and then I left this message with your secretary. Oh, yeah, she sounded pretty cute. <laughs> uh, well, look, the point is... Just when you want one. If we can close this deal, the head office ought to be pretty darn pleased about it. Yeah. Oh, sure. Well, I'll go out Say, and look in the other room. I can't find anything yet. No, no, we've had a very cold winter. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, we practically had a real blizzard here. <laughs> yes. Hold on, Leonard, will you, just a second? What are you doing? I asked you to find me a pencil. I'm looking for a pencil. I can't find one. We've got hundreds of pencils in the desk. Well, I disappeared. I can't find a single one. Well, will you hurry up, for Pete's sake? This guy is calling all the way from San Francisco. I know he's calling from San Francisco. I cannot find a pencil. Look in the desk. I've looked in the desk. I've looked on the table. I've looked in the kitchen. Well, look again. Look in the, in the, in the middle drawer. Oh, all right, all right. Hello, all right. Leonard. <laughs> Sorry, we're having a little trouble a finding a pencil here. here. <laughs> yeah, it never fails. Well, I do have a special place for pencils. You always <laughs> well, take them. Look in the like desk again, will you, Leonard? How's everything out there on the coast? Uh huh. Good. For yeah. heaven's sakes, yes. here's your dental appointment card. Didn't you go? <laughs> Hold on a minute, Leonard. Will you? Why? Did you cancel your dentist appointment again? Oh, for Pete's sakes, never mind the dentist. All right, all right. I don't well, care, I... dear. If you want all your teeth to just fall out, let this man fall. is calling from San Francisco. I know the man is calling from San Francisco. I don't care if he's calling from the South Pole. I <laughs> still cannot find a pencil. Did you look in the middle drawer? Yes. Did you look on the on, yes. the, on the? How about up on the? Yes, on, on the... I looked there too. Well, I, I can't I... find. One. Oh, well, I'm nice. sorry. I'm no magician. I just can't conjure one up, you know. Why is There's it you can spend five hours at Bridge Club, but you can't spend five minutes at home organizing an efficient system for running a house? Find your own pencil. Oh! No, no. Just look for one yourself. I... <laughs> I haven't seen the evening paper yet tonight. Uh, uh, <laughs> Leonard, oh, hold on, would you? <laughs> hold on. Uh, just, yeah. I'll look in the desk myself. Oh, hold on just a minute. Oh, no, what a mess in this desk. No. Well, it just happens to be important business, that's all. I've got to take down this information. I've got to have it tomorrow for a client. Just my job, that's all. If I don't have a job, we don't eat. No, no, I think we'd get something to eat. Always go home to mother. Even your parents might feed us for a while, or I could get a job. You can't find a pencil. There's one right here on the desk. My gosh, why don't you use your eyes? Honestly, I've all the... Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello, Leonard. Yeah. Yes, all set, thanks. <laughs> now, let's have the figures. 26% in 1955. Oh! Hold on a minute. Hold on, Leonard. The point is broken on this pencil. I know it. <laughs> Look, do you think there's a pencil upstairs? I do you know, dear. I'm so busy playing bridge, I don't get time to get any kind of a system around Would you here just anymore. help me look? Well, I don't think I'd be able to see Would one. You... I don't seem to use my eyes, you know. <laughs> Sweetheart, I know I was cross, and I'm sorry. I'm, but please, pretty please, be mad at me later, will you, huh? Well, I have Would looked you... all over. The only thing I can suggest is that you sharpen that one. Will you be my sweet girl and get me a knife, huh? A knife? Well, I shouldn't the way you've acted, uh, but I Thank will. you, thank you, baby. I'm... Leonard! <laughs> Golly, I'm, I'm sorry. I ordinarily have a fountain pen, but I left that at the office, I guess. <laughs> Leonard, read me some of those figures. Maybe I can remember them. Uh-huh. 26.2% in August. All right, all right, uh -huh. all right. Give me the pencil. Oh. Give it here, give it oh. here. I'll sharpen hey, Go on, Leonard. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> that, that was regional, though, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, dang it! What is the give, matter with you? Give me that knife. Honestly, if you want to kill yourself... Oh, nonsense. Give it here. I'll take it. <clears throat> Leonard, you ever see a woman try to sharpen a pencil the way she holds a knife? No. Uh, hold on, will you, Leonard? I'll be right with yeah, you. Yeah, let me talk to him. Well, you don't know him. It doesn't you... matter. Hello? Honestly. <laughs> Yes. Sharp enough. Are you? No, no, this sort of thing goes on all the time around here. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. I bet you don't treat your wife this way. Oh, well, you tell her she has my sympathy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, where the hell, honey? What did you do? Here, Never. Take, take my handkerchief. Don't let Get it drip something. on the rug. Don't Get let it drip. something, will you quit? Go I'll... hold your hand over the sink. Get Go something. On. Go. Hello? Look, he's cut his oh. finger. He'll call you back. He'll call you back. 
We'll return to the couple next door in just a moment. Not all crowns lie heavily on the head. As the number one man or woman of the radio kingdom, you'll have to admit the royal life is an easy one. What makes it so is the way in which the station you're listening to now, and many others like it, have joined together with CBS Radio to bring you the best in entertainment on either coast. Robert Q. Lewis, for example, carries on hilariously in New York. Rusty Draper sings his songs in Hollywood. Yet, on CBS Radio, they are just a few minutes apart. With equal ease, you can move from one news source to another. CBS Radio's vast network facilities dismiss the miles between news stories. London, Paris, Bonn, Rome, and Tokyo. On CBS Radio, they are all only moments away. Best of all, you can put CBS Radio in any room, in your car or even in your pocket. The smallest transistor radio is all you need to keep worlds of news and entertainment at hand. Worlds which CBS Radio, with its network facilities, puts at your sovereign disposal every day. Uh, no, no. Oh, just let it run under the water now. Oh, but I... Honestly, you talk about the way I sharpen a pencil. The knife slipped. Well, of course, the way you were hacking away. You weren't cutting down a redwood, you know. You were just sharpening a pencil. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let me see it. Now, now. be careful, be careful. Do, do, don't, don't... Hold cold still, dear. I can't even see it. it right there. Oh, yes. Well, Talking it is. About... Stop bleeding. Oh, that is quite a cut, honey. Huh. Well, I'll put something on it and bandage it up. Mommy! Oh. <laughs> Come on now, dear, in the kitchen, sweetie. I thought you were coming up to read me a story. I am, dear, I am, just a minute. What happened to you? Daddy cut his finger. How? Oh, Daddy had a knife and it slipped. You shouldn't play with knives, Daddy. I wasn't playing with it. I was sharpening a pencil. Can I be his nurse? Yes, I guess so. Um, with the iodine? I well, it doesn't need any iodine, Yes, it dear. does. I... That's what you put on me when I cut my finger. Ah, uh, well, this isn't very bad. I mean, Daddy's all right. I... Oh, I want to be your nurse. Oh, let her be your nurse, for goodness sake. I don't want any iodine on it. Do you want to get an infection and have germs running around inside oh, you? Oh, yeah, she's right. Now, look, sweetie, I, I really... <laughs> you might get real sick and could go to birthday parties to have candy or anything. Oh, Sandra, I think you better let the nurse take care of you, Daddy. Well, look, I... I now, hold I... still. It's only going to stink for a minute. Oh, still and if you don't cry, I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> I think the patient's going to be very brave, aren't you, dear? Mm -hmm. You hold his other hand. All right, I'll hold his other hand. Isn't it nice to have a nurse in the family, Daddy? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Just wonderful. Now, hold still. <laughs> still. There. <laughs> Does it sting? <laughs> No, 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 not, a, not at all. <laughs> Isn't he brave? My goodness, he's just as good as you are, Betsy. I'll put some more on. No, you put enough on, thank you. Now, go on, get away, get out of here. Here's the Band-Aid already for you, nurse. Uh, oh. Hold still, please. <laughs> now, there, now I you're tell, all right. Now. All right, I'll tell you one thing. We're going to make some changes around here. We're going to have a pencil by that telephone. We're going to fasten it with a string so it can't be taken away. Well, I tried that, dear. Even that pencil disappeared. Anytime you want a pencil, Mommy, you can borrow one from me. Huh? I can't. What do you mean, Where, borrow one from me? What do you mean, Betsy? Betsy? I have lots and lots of pencils. What do you mean you have lots and lots of pencils? I'm collecting them. You know. You... Mary Lou is collecting cigar bands, and Jackie is collecting pretty stones, and Claire Ford is collecting perfume bottles. Well, May I ask where you're keeping this collection? I have a secret hiding place, Daddy. But if you'd like to see them, I'll show you them. You have I have red ones and yellow ones and brown ones. I'd like very much to see them. Just just one of them would be enough. I'll get them right away, but you can't take any. Uh, all right, dear, all right. Now just See, calm Here I am, down. a long-distance call down. from San Francisco. A dozen important men in the head office hoping I can close that deal tomorrow. I race around here half crazy looking for a pencil. She's hoarding. No, no, dear. Hoarding when you have them. children, you have to expect these yeah, things, darling. I guess you so. Oh, boy. I... The Couple Next Door is written by Peg Lynch and stars Peg Lynch and Ellen Bunce, with Francie Myers as Betsy. It is produced by Walter Hart. This is Warren Sweeney inviting you to listen tomorrow to The Couple Next Door. <laughs> <laughs>